Acts 17, verse 2. And Paul went in, as was his custom, and on three Sabbath days he reasoned with them from the Scriptures, explaining and proving that it was necessary for the Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead, and saying, This Jesus, whom I proclaim to you, is the Christ. So this is Paul coming to Thessalonica, Thessalonica, and where there was a synagogue of the Jews, Paul went in and, and he preached to them for three Saturdays, three Sabbaths, continuously. And he argued with them, he reasoned with them from the scripture, which is Torah at that time, explaining, proving that it was necessary for the Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead. It is necessary. Now, this is interesting. Why is it necessary? If you tell the folks today, Christ, it is necessary for Christ to die, to suffer, and to rise from the dead. Why? Because if he doesn't suffer and die and be raised from the dead, we will not be saved. We will not see salvation. We will not have a Messiah. Messiah is the dying and the rising. All right? So, so this is very, very interesting. This is absolutely crucial that we understand this or else this will be uh, this 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 will be confusing uh, if we don't get this right okay so on three sabbaths Paul has been deeply concerned about the fate of this young church and is thrilled to hear that they are thriving despite suffering and persecution perseverance is a major theme in scripture all right so this is a thriving so what did Paul do exactly verse 3 this the Messiah had to suffer and rise from the dead this is an important theme in Luke Acts theme like 318 Acts 318 but this is how God fulfilled what he had foretold through all the prophets saying that the Messiah would suffer. Repent then and turn to God. So the Messiah must suffer. And where is that from? Okay, so let's see. Let, let's bring it. Uh, this is X 318. Okay, X 318. The scripture predicting that the Messiah would suffer. Okay, 318. That Jesus is his Lord. There's Isaiah 53, um, Isaiah 53, let's look at that. Who had believed our message and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? He grew up before him like a lender, like a tender shoot and like a root out of dry ground. He had no beauty or majesty to att attract us to him nothing in his appearance that we should desire him he was despised and rejected by mankind a man of suffering a familiar with pain surely he took our pain he bore our sufferings okay so who is this guy this is the messiah isaiah 53 that's why messiah must suffer so if the guy who claims that he is our messiah and he's never suffered and died and resurrected he's no messiah and jesus actually died and suffered and died and he rose from the dead and that's why we can trust in jesus we can continue to preach it hallelujah saying this messiah would suffer that is a reality and we have to believe in that